Hey you guys, I'm looking for a stump to illustrate to help a guy who had a he had a a tree go wrong on Facebook. And I figured the most efficient way was for me to just show an illustration, a picture. So this is a job I'm cutting. This is a small tree, but now all these trees are laying this way because property line fence right there. Right, I mean you might be able to see the post another post right there so i can't be sending them over i mean the, the wire can get busted up but i can't be crushing all the poles and leaving logs across the way and stuff so it's just another timber property nobody's gonna be mad about it i'll clean it up afterwards but i've been having all these trees along this edge that haven't been logged in the past because they all lean over the property line so they've been passed over and this guy wants it cut off pretty hard and um we're gonna actually put in a bit of a, a clearing back here so I've been having to, to swing everything. It's all leaning this way, and I've been having to swing it. All of it. Just one on top of another, which is fine. I like that they're stacked up. It'll make them, it, it helps you bunch them up pretty easy. But this is a great example. This tree wanted to go that way. Let's call it north. The tree had to lean straight to the north. But I need it to go to the west. Well, <clears throat> you don't, so yeah, you're still going to notch it if, if you're using notches. I'm not saying you have to or you don't. That's a real hot button issue with some people apparently. But let's, there's there's a little itty bitty notch, doesn't take much. So I cut out a little notch, Humboldt style, so that it doesn't take anything out of the butt log. Now you don't need, when the tree is leaning over that way, this wood's in compression. There's a weight on top of that. It's, it's, it's being crushed down. This wood is all in tension. It's being, it's like a chain trying to pick something up. So this is the wood that matters. You don't need that wood. If you're, you're trying to throw the tree this way. So yeah, you're gonna put a relief this side. Look out, pup. Look out, pup. Come on. You're not even my dog, go. You're gonna put a relief on this side and maybe you're gonna wedge from here if you need to. Hopefully not too much. <clears throat> but you don't need this wood. This is compression wood. It's not holding your tree up. Tension wood is holding your tree up because it wants to go over that way. So now, if you would normally have a one inch hinge all the way across, do yourself a favor, cut off that chunk and add it over here. Make this a two inch hinge. You need a chunk of wood on the tension side to hold because that compression wood is not doing anything. If this piece is too thin and it tears, that sucker's going. You need this chunk of wood here. And it's, so it's called a swing Dutchman or swing, swinging Dutchman when you've got this pie shaped cut. You know, so me personally, I actually start these trees on the lean side so the tree wants to go this way i come in here and cut this is the very first thing and then i come around and i cut this notch out so then you, so now you've got your relief for the tree to tip the way you want then i'll come in and start cutting here and once i get far enough in i'll set a wedge preferably this direction so that the tree doesn't set down on your bar if you put it here the tree is still free to come down here so i'll come in i'll actually do a lot more angle work right here so this whole big pie that third or quarter of that tree is still holding and I'll, I'll gut that out and then come around so that I can put that wedge in here to help prevent the thing from setting forward and then you're just coming around you popping your wedge in a little more see is, is the tree working with me is it gonna go is it gonna go not gonna go over but is it gonna go my way you want feedback from your tree you don't want to cut this whole wood off before the tree has said yeah I like your plan if it's if, if you've put in one wedge you put in, say you got two. If you're hammering on one, the next one should go in kind of easy. If it sounds rock hard, like you're banging on a concrete block, that tree ain't gonna go the way you want. So if you just keep cutting, you're just gonna lose the tree. Don't do that. You need this piece of wood to hold. Especially if you have to do a lot of hammering. If it's got a little bit of lean that way and you need to go, you know, throwing 90 off is, is hard enough. Throwing 120 is even harder. So if it wants to go that way and you need to get it all the way over there, you're needing a big piece of wood right here to wedge off of. And you need this piece to be flexible. It can be made more flexible. Look out, dog. It can be made more flexible by putting a relief cut right in here, which is called a sizz wheel. At least I'm pretty sure that's what, what it's called when people say a sizz wheel. <clears throat> and all it really does is lengthen this fiber. It lengthens this fiber so that this whole section of wood has more flexibility. If the wood is flexible, it won't tear off. So, like, this chunk would have, 
it would have a slice taken out of this plane. You'd, you'd go vertical, stab in, bore cut right in, and then you'd come across like this, but not flat. You'd come across at an angle with this bar. If this was my bar, I'd come in and take out a little, a little multi-dimensional triangular wedge piece, throw that away. And that's gonna reveal more fiber on the hold side, but it's gonna leave a platform. Well, if, we, if I hadn't done a humble, if I hadn't done a humble. So if you did a conventional, if you did conventional, so this is a flat surface, and the notch is taken out of here. When you put that relief cut in here, you're still leaving a high pad right there. So when the tree, the tree starts going and it wants to go forward, but it steps on this. So this high ground helps to keep the tree from going forward. And this chunk that's cut out right here, this relief cut allows the holding tab, the compression wood, it allows it to stay attached and flex. And the tree can really get kicked and flung off. I mean, there's an example back up some more that's 90 off the lean 80 whatever and it's three feet away so it really flung and it went up in where i wanted it no big deal and i didn't even need the scissor wheel that was just from a swing dutchman and i hope that helps you and god bless